Suncoast Republicans are calling for one of their candidates to step down from a state house race. According to a university in Ohio, local candidate Melissa Howard appears to have lied about her degree and forged what appears to be a fake diploma. ABC 7's Adam Cholini joins us live this evening from the Republican Party headquarters in Manatee County to explain more. Adam. Yes, Scott and Jacqueline, good evening. You can see the campaign signs lining the landscaping here by the uh, GOP headquarters in Manatee County. Tommy Gregory in full view, but his opponent, Melissa Howard, no signs that we can see. Now, we have not heard back from these party members about whether or not they want to uh, ask Melissa Howard to drop her campaign leading into the primary, but the Republican candidate certainly has a long road ahead after posting a picture that may have doomed her campaign. We're out here every day working. Instead of canvassing, story. local state house candidate Melissa Howard is covering for an apparent lie about her education. When I first heard about this story, I was like, uh oh, because uh, this spells trouble for the candidate. After an online report challenged Howard's degree from Miami University in Ohio, the Republican candidate posted pictures of a framed diploma and transcript on her since deleted Facebook campaign page with the words, The truth shall set you free. But the truth, according to the university's general counsel, is Howard never received a degree, pointing out the degree on her diploma doesn't exist, and the date in 1996 is two years after she was enrolled. If you're ever caught misleading, uh, it can lead to a doomed campaign. Political science professor Michael Rogers wants to hear Howard's version of the truth, but her campaign declined comment Monday, and the guards at her gated Lakewood Ranch neighborhood were under specific instruction to turn media members away. The Sarasota office for the business she runs with her husband also empty on Monday. Local party leaders indicated this weekend they would not ask Howard to resign before her primary election against Tommy Gregory later this month. Other party members say they should. They want to put the truth in the forefront, and uh, they don't want any type of... Uh, misleading statements that characterize the local Republican Party, if not the national Republican Party as well. Now, it's worth noting that education is not listed as a requirement for candidates running for the State House of Representatives. And coming up later tonight, uh, we will be continuing the discussion about um, Melissa Howard's education and what she should do with her campaign. That's all coming up at 7 o'clock tonight. For now, reporting live in Manatee County, I'm Adam Cellini. Back to you in the studio.